postponed and the Waikato DHB thrown into chaos due to a cyber attack that's believed to have come from outside New Zealand. The attack has crashed phones and computers throughout the region's public health system and the Senior Doctors Union says members working at Waikato hospitals and clinics are describing the situation as mayhem. People are being told to stay away from hospital emergency departments unless it's absolutely necessary. The DHBs confirmed it has received a message that suggests it's a ransomware attack, but it had no warning the attack was coming. Waikato DHB CEO Kevin Snee describes what's happened. It's a, a, a virus uh, that's affected our system, uh, and it looks like uh, that's been uh, malicious uh, intent. Uh, so, um, so we're, uh, as I say, trying to recover from that as we speak. Is it a, a ransom cyber attack? Uh, it could well be. Um, certainly, uh, the indications are that it is. So, what indications do you have that it is? Uh, well, we have a, um, a uh, we've received a, a message uh, that we need to uh, check the veracity of the message, but it appears to be indicating that it is a, a ransomware event, and uh, obviously. Um, when these events happen, as they happen in other parts of the world, people are trying to extract money from an organisation. Clearly, we will not be paying any ransom for this, uh, but um, but that's the um, that's what people are trying to to do when they um, put viruses like this into the system. So, Kevin, have they asked for a specific amount of money? Uh, no, they haven't. And when did you receive this communication? Uh, that was earlier today. Have you had any warnings that this was coming or any earlier threats? No, we've had no threats. I mean, obviously, it's, it's um, a problem that we're aware of internationally. And, you know, we've had problems in New Zealand before, but we've had no threats in relation to Waikato DHP. Is all your equipment working? Um, so we had some problems this morning with telemetry. However, that's been uh, dealt with. The risk has been mitigated there. And we, we do have... Um, Problems, for example, with our ability to uh, read um, x-rays uh, and lab tests, so uh, with clinicians having to go down into the radiology department, for example, to read, uh, to read x-rays because we can't send them out on the computer system. So but that's, that obviously disrupts things. So they've infiltrated further than just your patient records and bookings? Well, it's the whole computer system that's, that has a, we have a problem with at the moment. So what does that say about your security? Uh, well, it's, it's, um, if there have been any security issues, then that, that will be determined by investigation subsequently. Well, there is, there is a security... Kevin, with the greatest respect, there is a security issue, isn't there? You've, you've been hacked. Well, clearly, clearly there is a security issue if, you've been, if we've been hacked. I guess the question is, how could we have prevented that? And that's any investigation subsequently will tell us that. So what is happening right now in terms of fixing this? Uh, well, we are working with uh, cybersecurity experts um, that um, uh, via the Ministry of Health and uh, working closely with them to get to the bottom of the problem and then to rebuild our computer system. So you say you, you had no forewarning and no earlier threats, but what about the security of your system? Have you been told or has a weakness or any faults in your system been identified that you were told to patch ahead of this? Uh, we, we're all, obviously always trying to improve our system and um, uh, we've, we've made a number of improvements to our system over the last year. So we haven't uh, been told uh, directly that we have a problem, uh, but we've obviously uh, been improving our system over time. What are you telling patients? Because how long is it going to be before this is rectified? Um, well, we'd hope to have this rectified before the weekend, uh, but exactly how long it's going to take at this stage, we can't be certain. Before the weekend, Kevin, it's only Tuesday. I know, um, but uh, clearly uh, we can't be certain how long this is going to take. So, at this stage until we got to the bottom of it. So obviously that places you in an incredibly serious position. What is going to happen between now and the weekend with all your patients, elective surgeries, emergency situations? What happens? So we're, made, we're working with uh, both our regional and our national partners to make sure that any patients who need urgent surgery get it, either get it locally with us or uh, in our regional partners or with our national tertiary partners. So anybody who needs urgent surgery should get that.
So you're talking about diverting patients to different areas? Uh, some of them will be done, you know, many of the patients will be done in Waikato itself, but um, it may be necessary for some uh, other patients to be diverted to other hospitals. And Kevin, just to be clear, with elective surgery, between now and when you get this fixed, no elective surgery? No, uh, elective surgery for cancer patients will go ahead, but um, if, uh, if, you, if you don't have cancer, uh, then you may not get, receive elective surgery. We will contact patients directly to let them know whether they're going to have their surgery or not. And will the cancer patients still be dealt with at um, in the Waikato DHB, or will you be sending them elsewhere? Uh, we would hope to deal with them all locally, but if we can't, we will uh, organise it with our regional and national partners. What kind of risks does this present for you? I mean, are you are you sure you're across how far they have infiltrated your equipment and your systems? That's been investigated at the moment. And when will you know the answer? Um, I would hope to have it as soon as possible, but um, I don't have it now. When you say that's being investigated, have you got um, GCSB helping you out, government departments? <laughs> So we've got government uh, departments working with us to sort this out. And we, we're working through the Ministry of Health, but they're obviously working with other government departments. The, the, the ransom notice that you have received, you say it doesn't state a specific amount of money. Mm -hmm. What does it say about what they want then? Uh, I'd rather not go into that at this stage. Although they don't put a... Um, uh, well, a specific monetary value on it, are they saying that they want you to pay? I'd rather not go into any detail at this stage. What further threats have they made to you if you do not pay? I'd rather not go into it at this stage. Are there further threats if you don't pay? I'd rather not go into it at this stage. It's a police matter, so I'd rather not go and get into this. It's also a matter of huge public interest, Kevin. Of there are people who are waiting to have medical treatment who are now on the back burner as a result of this, and they want to know whether you've got it under control or not. So, are you being threatened with further disruption if you do not comply? Uh, we believe we've got it under control, and um, we believe we'll have the services back up and running within a matter of days. Uh, that, but, that doesn't uh, answer the question, though, Kevin. The, the question is, are you being threatened with further no, disruption the US, if, you, that, if you don't comply with the requests made? So we believe we have it under control, and we don't believe that any further uh, problems will occur as a result of this. We need to... Why don't you answer the with, question, Kevin? What's, what's your concern well, about answering, answering this question? question? I, am, no. I am answering the question, Lisa. Have further I'm threats sorry. been made to you if you do not comply? Uh, uh, we're focused on patient care here and getting the systems back up and running, and that's what we intend to do. It goes to the core of what happens next. So are there further threats being made to you? So as I said to you, Lisa, we believe you have it under complete control here and we will get the system back up and running as soon as possible uh, and the investigations will be had. Kevin, you don't have it under complete control.